would like to thank you for giving me a moment of your time today. That being said, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Joshua David Dunaway. I'm 24 years old and I was born in Macomb, Mississippi. I'd like to share with you a few goals and a few hobbies that I've established and, and uh, adopted over my lifetime. And lastly, I'd share with you a few facts of my hometown. So let us begin with a few facts about me and my life. As I said earlier, my first two names are Joshua and David. These two names are of a biblical origin. Joshua meaning God is salvation, and David meaning beloved. I was born June 14th at 6.30 p.m. on the fourth floor of the Southwest Regional Medical Center in Macomb, Mississippi. In my immediate family, I had my mother Donna, my little sister Lizzie, my wife Sarah, and a little baby boy on the way by the name of Isaac Matthew. In my extended family, what I consider a rather large family, I have three uncles, one aunt, 17 first cousins, and 30 second cousins. Now that you have learned a little about me and my family, I would like to share with you a few goals and a few hobbies that I have. First goal in my life, first and most important goal in my life, is to be to serve God, praise God and worship God, and make it to heaven. Second goal in my life, more earthly goal, is to, is to make a decent career in the medical field as an RN. <clears throat> this is going to take perseverance and diligence. It's going to take me passing a licensure exam. It's going to take me getting employed. I also have a few hobbies I'd like to discuss with you. One is driving. I love to drive. I used to, I used to fill a tank up and go drive the countryside. Can't do that too much anymore now that I go to school. Can't afford it. I like to prepare furniture. I really do. It, it, it is nice to be able to use your brain to piece together a puzzle of broken furniture. And also singing. I really enjoy singing. Singing is a great is a great pastime for me. It's one of my favorite hobbies, closest to my heart. I used to sing in the church in the choir, and I was offered the lead position of that choir by the pastor. I, I accepted, and, and uh, very much enjoyed that. But nowadays, I just mainly sing in the shower, sing in the car. I, 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 but singing will hold a close place in my heart always. Now I'd like to borrow a moment of your time to ask, uh, to talk to you about Macomb, the town that I'm from. Macomb is a small town, about 13,500 people. It was founded in 1872 by the railroad company. Well, by three small towns, actually. Harvey Town, Birdland, and Elizabeth Town, consolidated and incorporated. And the railroad was the main hunt, central hub of the town. It was named after an official of the railroad, Henry Simpson Macomb. I've lived there my whole entire life. Um, if I could go back, I wouldn't change a thing. If I could, if I could go back to a, a little child and have a choice of where I'd want to live, I, I would never change a thing. I would stay in Pike County. Now, as I draw near to the end of my speech, I, I, I would like to review with you a few things that I've discussed. I've told you who I am and where I was born, about my immediate and distant family. Told you things that I enjoy, and that's driving, singing, and repairing furniture. My goals in life: and make it to heaven, and to uh, make a decent career. And I've elaborated on my city's history. And considering all the topics covered, that's just about all I can tell you about my life. And, uh, I'd just like to thank you for donating a moment of your time to me this afternoon. And with that being said, I'd like to bid you a good day.